A final push by the highest authority in the country. Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei made one last attempt to rally the masses to the polling stations on Friday. The election is about the participation of the people, meaning the system has the support of the people. The future of the country in all aspects, economics, security, politics, is related to what you, the people of Iran, do on Friday. His comments came on the same day the only reformist candidate, Mohsen Meher Alizadeh, dropped out of the race. In a letter to the interior minister, Meher Alizadeh told of his decision, but without stating the reason, or whether he would now be backing another candidate. In a statement, former nuclear negotiator Saeed Jalili also left the race, endorsing conservative candidate and the current head of Iran's judiciary, Ebrahim Raisi. Another conservative candidate and member of parliament, Ali Reza Zakani from Qom, is also out. He says he believes Ebrahim Raisi is a more suitable candidate to become Iran's eighth president. During his weekly cabinet meeting on Wednesday, President Hassan Rouhani laid out the realities of this election. There have been some injustices during the campaigns, but we should all oblige ourselves and make up for them if we can. We might want some individuals who are not among the candidates, but we have to choose the ones closest to who we want. If the masses don't participate, neither the country or the people will benefit. Voter turnout continues to be a major concern for officials here. Due to COVID restrictions and voter apathy, non-official polls suggest this election could see the lowest voter turnout since the revolution of 1979. The remaining candidates have been sending out text messages to the public urging them to vote. Despite three rounds of live debates on state TV, there's been very little campaigning on the streets here. A high voter turnout is important because it is directly associated with the approval of the establishment. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera, Tehran.